China is now one of the world's new economic and political superpowers. In recent years, they have been competing with America on the economy. China has expanded its field of military activity in recent years. South of Asia, South America, and the continent of Africa. When you have a strong economy, you must also have a strong army because you need to be able to protect your interests. For this reason, China spends a large part of its budget on its army. If you don't have a large enough navy and you can't launch a military operation anywhere in the world at any time, you can't claim superior power. That's why China abandoned the defense-oriented navy mentality a long time ago. In the 20th century, the Chinese navy was developing to protect the mainland, but after the 2000s, this completely changed. China is building ships very quickly and has become the largest navy in the world in numerical terms. Being big in numbers doesn't matter, you have to have a qualified navy, so China is developing new aircraft carriers. Currently, China has three aircraft carriers in its inventory. It is necessary to have a destroyer fleet to protect these aircraft carriers. China already has a destroyer fleet, but newer, more modern, and more qualified destroyers are needed, so I will talk about the Type 055, which is the future of the Chinese Navy. Type 055 guided missile destroyers are the world's largest and most advanced family of warships after the DDG-1000 Zumwalt. China calls these ships guided missile destroyers, but NATO's definition is different. NATO calls the Type 055 a cruiser because it weighs more than 10,000 tons. The exact year of manufacture of this ship is unknown, but according to intelligence sources, production began in 2014. In 2017, China announced that it was developing a new generation destroyer ship. The first ship of the series, the Nanchang, was shown during a parade in 2020. There were two striking parts of the ship, one of them was radar similar to the Aegis technology of the USA, and the other was VLS launchers with 112 units. Currently, six of these destroyers serve the Chinese Navy, and it is estimated that eight Type 055 destroyers will be in the Navy in 2023. When I talk about the technical characteristics of the Type 055, you will understand better why this ship is so special and dangerous. The Type 055 weighs 11,000 tons and can reach 13,000 tons. Average 180 meters tall. There are six gas turbine generators, and these generators produce a total of 30 megawatts of power. In order to move this huge ship, there are two QC280 gas turbine engines, and these engines produce 152,000 horsepower. Thanks to these engines, the Type 055 can reach 30 knots per hour. With a maximum range of 9,500 kilometers, these ships employ 280 personnel as standard. Type 055S have the most modern AESA radars ever developed in China. Radars called Type 346B Dragon Eye can theoretically detect targets at ranges over 500 kilometers. The Type 055 is known as the world's most heavily armed ship. There is one H-PJ-38 130mm naval gun at the front of the ship. Apart from this, there is one H-PJ-11 close-range machine gun system. The ship is equipped with an HQ-10 missile system for close air defense and an HQ-9 high-altitude air defense missile. China will also integrate an anti-ballistic missile defense system for the Type 055. China's goal is to create a global air defense area similar to the American Aegis system. The Type 055 has a 2-323mm torpedo launcher and can also use the YU-8 anti-submarine missile. It can accommodate two medium-class helicopters in its hangar. What makes these ships really dangerous is that there are 112 vertical launch systems and total no ship in the world has such launch capability. CJ-10 missiles are used to hit ground targets, but the most dangerous ones are the YJ-18 and YJ-21 missiles. YJ-18, the hypersonic anti-ship missile used by China, can reach Mach 6 speed. The YJ-21 is a more advanced version of the YJ-18, but there is no official information for the YJ-21. According to some claims from Taiwan, it is said to reach speeds between 7 and 10 times the speed of sound. 
It has a range of 500 kilometers and is allegedly capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. In short, this means that a single YJ-21 missile can sink an entire American aircraft carrier. And the Type 055 can carry hundreds of these missiles at the same time. The Type 055 is currently one of the strongest and most dangerous ships in the world and a major threat to the U.S. Navy. The American Navy is also aware of this danger and is making very serious updates. The American Navy is making serious changes in order to gain superiority in the Pacific during a possible Sino-American war in the Pacific. For example, they started decommissioning heavy tanks and switching to light tanks in order to move faster on the islands. They put the new generation warships into service, renewed the aircraft carrier fleet, and the American Navy accelerated the sixth generation fighter aircraft project. In short, the waters in the Pacific have started to warm up, and it seems inevitable that a conflict will break out in the near future. Do not forget to give your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching.